I think the most pressing concern we have, uh, uh, certainly in Europe and our allied forces, is, is the, uh, the increased mass of the underwater threat. Uh, and associated with that is complexity, it's, it's quietness. And I think that certainly we have to up our game. We have to match that increase in pace of that complexity. The GI-UK gap is, is certainly up there as a major concern, but also, uh, and, it, and it's well known, the protection of the underwater infrastructure. We have to not only rely on defending those, those key areas, uh, we have to move from being a, a single or a dual sensor uh, provider of that capability, but we have to adopt a more integrated uh, and, and mesh with crew and uncrewed systems. That's certainly the way ahead. With the, the move away from only crewed platforms to, to both crewed and uncrewed, ensuring that interoperability between those is really, really important. So we're spending a lot of time looking at how, how you bring together the autonomy on a uncrewed into the, uh, into the crewed operator's uh, environment, whether it's uh, another platform or on a, uh, um, a ground station and really the, the importance of making sure that those two very different types of systems and the autonomy that sits behind the uncrewed is working together, most importantly, so the operator understands what that autonomy is doing. What sets General Dynamics apart from the, the, the rest of industry, particularly around the, the, the anti-submarine warfare, is, is our pedigree. We have a, a long history, a long, long history uh, on a number of platforms. Um, and, and this continues to be proven through a number of um, effectively trials and operations, annual events where we go out and prove our capabilities. Some of the experimental work we're doing at the moment uh, is actually taking place as we speak. So Exercise Repness in Portugal, just south of Lisbon, uh, General Dynamics Mission Systems have partnered with Tecover for their uh, UAS system. It's the AR5. And over the next three weeks, we will be demonstrating how this, this medium-sized UAS system can actually deploy sonar boys, process sonar boys, detect, classify, and if required, prosecute. What I think is probably spe very special with the General Dynamics portfolio of ASW products is our edge processing and our ability to distribute uh, massive amounts of data in real time, which allows the the process exploitation and dissemination pro process to be done in real time. Really where we're going is looking at, firstly, how do we, t how do we teach the system what the operators have learned over decades? So we're, we're bringing in AI to, to be trained up by um, experienced operators in particular areas, but also then adding to the, the, the solution itself, bringing in automation to, to avoid a lot of, a lot of traditional uh, s slow processes, very, very mandrolic systems. And then finally, looking at how we, we reduce the amount of uh, data that is being sent around the network, re uh, removing the reliance on a, a large bandwidth such that we can, we can process at the edge through the uh, automatic and aut autonomy, and then just provide back the answers to the operator wherever they are in the world. So at the moment, we can have a crewed or a uncrewed platform airborne and at a remote location, whether it be 10 miles away or 1,000 miles away, a second analyst carrying out the same mission, but providing that, that added layer uh, of, uh, of interrogation uh, of the received acoustic data. And what we've managed to do as well is cut down on the, the bandwidth required to transmit that data. So we've achieved a 95% reduction in data that is actually transmitted from a platform. And we've done that by providing the facility for operators, whether they be on the crew platform or on the uncrewed platform, to draw the data that he actually wants to see. So that negates the requirement to transmit gigabytes of data that will never be looked at. So we're particularly proud of that. Uh, and it's something every, every other country that we're working with wants to adopt.